So you've gone to zoning, you passed all your inspections, you have your permit, all the permits needed, you bought your equipment and supplies, you have your staff interviewed, and so what's next? Hi, I'm Bonnie Hawthorne of BR Hawthorne Teaches. I am a venue coach and consultant for new and would-be venue owners. Well, today we're going to talk about all things marketing and promoting your venue. So you want to be, begin with hiring a photographer, a professional photographer, and if you have it in your budget, a videographer. You want them to come in to take pictures of your space, your catering kitchen, bridal suites, uh, if you have scenic outdoor uh, gardens, uh, mountainous views, you want them to take pictures of all those. Those we call your superpower. And that sets you apart from other venues and allow potential customers to know that what products you provide are uniquely different from your competitors. Once you've gotten your photos back and your videos, you want to create your website. You want your website to be warm and inviting, engaging, informational, okay? So on your website, you might wanna put those videos, you wanna have a great photo gallery of the photos that the photographer took. You also want to have um, virtual tours and uh, maybe provide digital um, diet floor plans. And once you get client reviews, you certainly want to put those on there to showcase how your clients enjoy their moment at your venue. Okay. Also, once um, you can also list on directories, and this is where you know a lot of venues fall fall short because you might list yourself on one or two directories, but there are tons of directories out there. Um, they uh, wedding planners, corporate planners. Uh, potential clients, bride, grooms, they search these. When they're searching venues in their their area, not only is your venue and other competitors coming up, but these directories are listed and they house all the venues in the, air, the searchable area that your clients were looking for. So you definitely wanna take your time to get listed on directories. There's directories like Event Detective, Event Up, Peer Space, just to name a few. But there are so many, and I know it's, it's time consuming, but it will pay off in the end. So social media. We saw social media, we just like, oh my goodness, it's a lot, right? Because um, we have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, Twitter, YouTube, you know, so, but one thing I wanna say, Facebook ads. I run Facebook ads, I keep a very minimal budget. Um, I know who my target market is, so I know who to market them with. Um, and they do work, just give them a little time. You know, they may not be for everybody, but I use them and I do know they do work. So that's one avenue. And then we have Instagram. Um, you want to do your post and you want to research the times that your, that your niche is online, um, you know, on Instagram. So there are, uh, you can, is it 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, six o'clock, you know, um, do they, uh, do they go to more social media on the weekends? So you'll learn that out. You need to make sure you look at your analytics and that will you know, tell you where they're coming from and how many engagements and how many people and the age range that are looking at your post and the times they do it. And so that'll help you to gauge when to post your content. But once again, you must have engaging content. All right, and if you don't know how to do that, that's one of the things that you can source out. Also, Instagram Reels. As much as I hate being in front of the camera, Reels are what it is now. I mean, if you're opening your venue to get ready for an event or, you know, you have some mishap or something, you know, people want to see stuff that is uh, authentic and real. You know, fun, entertaining is great too. But, you know, in the venue world, everything is not perfect. But reels are really what's happening right now. And you can also use those same reels over on TikTok. You know, so that that's a great uh, uh, avenue to work. So I know sometimes, you know, like I said, I'm an introvert and I have to put myself out here for my business. So sometimes we have to do what's uncomfortable to become comfortable. 
all right so try those reels i mean for me it's you know it's a learning curve because we have to learn how to focus those cameras and you know the lighting and you know there's a lot to it but there are youtube uh, channels that can help you with that and then once again there are photographers and videographers that are offering um, these kind of courses so you might want to seek those out so one of the biggest things that i noticed is that when my i have strategy calls with my clients i will google them i google them i go to facebook i go to instagram and i go to their website and some of the things that i know one they don't have a google my business page two when i go look at these other platforms um they don't have a phone number uh, or email or address no kind of point of contact information so you want to be sure to put these that information on all platforms okay but back to google my business page you know if you are not on google my business page how can you be found you know you have to have keywords on your page for home page or throughout your website this is venue venue north carolina venue south carolina uh, country venues uh, elegant venue luxury venue so that you're found but that starts with you having a, a google my business page okay and make sure that the description in there is very keyword focused and once again, if this is something that you don't know how to do, you can always source it out. There is um, uh, people that can help you on Upwork and Fiverr, just to name a few. Okay, so um, open houses. So you wanna have open houses for your um, event planners, corporate planners, um, the Chamber of Commerce, any local business in the area. You know, if you have open houses and you let them come in and see what you're offering, if it doesn't fit their need, they may be able to refer you to someone else. But you want to have open houses. You want to build that community relationship and have that community engagement and partnerships. Partner with not only the Chamber of Commerce uh, or the uh, conference and convention centers, but also other venues. If you're booked for that day or time, then they can refer people back to you okay so you know the bigger your network is the better it is for the return on investment in your business so um those are just a few things i had today um if you would like to learn more you can certainly book a strategy call with us by going to the link below also if you like this uh video give us a thumbs up and if you want to stay in the know please subscribe again i'm bonnie r hawthorne of vr hawthorne teaches and I thank you for uh, joining us today and I look forward to speaking with you on other videos.